people welcome to my channel and welcome to this exclusive video wherein I'm going to analyze the UGC net June 2019 paper 2 of English literature which happened today on 26th of June 2019 in this video, I'm going to answer all your questions which must be bubbling in the head of the aspirants. You must be wondering, was the paper easy? Was it tough? What kind of questions were asked from different sections? What about the new syllabus? Was there anything specific that uh, changed in the paper because of the new syllabus? What were the kind of questions asked from the new syllabus topics like cultural studies and English in India? We are going to address all these questions collectively in this video. So watch this video till the end also there's a constant smile that is on my face since the time I am speaking to my students who are saying that their paper was fantastic all my students are really happy to see the question paper because they're saying that the paper was exactly from the course that they were subscribed to so there were a few students who even said that there were lines which were actually taken from the crash course and those lines were asked directly in the paper so 95% of the paper was directly from the course content that I was teaching and there can be nothing more uh, beautiful for a teacher than to see students praising the course and also saying that uh, they are going to definitely qualify this exam this time. So I'm really happy for my students and I'm really really excited to see the results this time because the paper was really fantastic. It was direct. If a student has actually gone through the complete syllabus of UGC net, I'm pretty sure that all the questions they would have seen on this screen in front of them during those three hours they would have found that each of those questions uh, are familiar so i'm really happy for my students and without wasting any more time let's jump right into the analysis and let's see what kind of questions were asked this time by the nta ugc net english literature department so the very first thing that i would like to talk about is the kind of questions they were asking from shakespeare this time yes guys there were five questions from shakespeare there were times in UGC net when Shakespeare was said to be a very neglected sort of writer because they were hardly asking one question from Shakespeare in place and sometimes they would not ask even a single question. But I kept on saying in my audios and in my videos to my students that even though they don't ask questions but there are chances that they, they can ask as many questions as they want from Shakespeare because he's such an important dramatist. And see what happened. This time they asked five questions from Shakespeare. In my audio course I teach 20 Shakespearean plays in detail talking about the characters important line the plot because I knew or know that they can ask questions from any of these 20 important plays Shakespeare has written 38 plays out of which 20 are really very important this time they asked a direct question from King Leo they gave lines and they asked us to tell from uh, whom was these lines spoken so who said to whom kind of question was asked from King Lear the same kind of questions uh, were asked from Julius Caesar also because from Julius Caesar there was a line given and they asked that was it Brutus who said these lines was it Caesar who said these lines who said these lines and to whom another interesting question that was asked from Macbeth was a line that is very famous life is but a walking shadow and they asked us what this line actually means there were four options given another interesting thing that was uh, asked from Shakespeare was to mention which play of Shakespeare depicts Rome in a very very beautiful form so just like we have Julius Caesar which depicts Rome in a perfect form similarly which is the other play which depicted Rome in the same sense and the options were two gentlemen of Verona Romeo and Juliet you had to answer which one was correct another interesting thing that was asked from Shakespeare was the uh, if you look at the questions, you will find that they were focusing more on the intense study of Shakespeare and that is the reason why in the crash course also I gave detailed PDFs on Shakespeare because I knew that the works of Shakespeare they are so important that they would never ask that who wrote King Lear. Every literature students know that. So how are they, they going to test your knowledge? They are going to ask you a tough question. They are going to see how intensely you have studied Shakespeare. So make sure that for December 2019 net exam you go through Shakespearean plays in detail 
Another important thing that students are curious to know is the questions which were asked from cultural studies. Yes, guys, there was a hype created about cultural studies and I always kept on telling my students that cultural studies I have included in the literary theory section in detail in my course. If you look at new historicism and the writers associated to that like Stephen Greenbald, Will William Raymond, you'll find that all these writers are also associated to cultural studies. And what happened this time? Yes, there were two questions directly from cultural studies talking about Raymond William and Stephen Greenbald. From Stephen Greenbald, they ask a question, cultural poetics is conned by whom? And another question from Raymond William was from his work, country and the city. Another important topic that was officially added in the syllabus was English in India. Earlier also, they were asking questions from English in India because they considered it to be a part of Indian literature, but now they have officially admitted it. So this time there were a few more questions from that segment and I'm so happy to see that there was a question from Hunter's Commission. My students called me and said that, ma'am, you posted a video on Sunday about Hunter's Commission and see, they asked a direct question from your video. So even that was by chance, but I knew I had to post it before net because I was aware of the fact that this time, since they've included English in India as a separate unit, they might ask difficult questions from this. And they asked a question on Hunter's Commission. But what about the sections which they did not mention in the new syllabus? Were they asking questions from those sections as well, like literary movements, like literary terms and devices? Yes, guys, they were asking a lot of questions from these units. I kept on saying in my videos that it doesn't matter what they put up on, on the official website and what they don't put up on the website. In in spite of the fact that it's not stated uh, in the syllabus, they might ask questions from topics which are directly related to literature. They were asking questions from Harleem Renesa, imagism, symbolism. Why? They did not mention it under any head. But yes, they are related to literature. And that is why I have always been teaching these topics in my online course under the section literary movements and literary terms and devices. Another important thing that they asked this time was the meter and rhythm. So they asked asked two questions. One was about iambic uh, and trochaic rhythm. They asked us to uh, mention which of the following is iambic and which one is trochaic. Another question was about the dictic uh, meter. So dictic meter, iambic meter and trochaic meter. These were asked in this net exam. Another important thing that students were questioning me uh, in the last days that they have not mentioned Old and Middle English. So are they going to ask questions? Yes, guys, they are going to ask questions and they have asked questions this time. They asked us to put the writers in chronological order and they mentioned writers like Langland, William Dunbar, who were belonging to the Anglo-Norman period. So you can see how these Anglo-Norman Chaucerian writers were asked in the net exam in spite of the fact that they have not stated it directly in the syllabus. So that's the beauty of English literature. You cannot, uh, you know, put yourself under the boundaries of that 10 units. You have to go beyond and that is how the knowledge expands and that is how you can crack exam like net very easily. There are a lot of other aspects of the paper which I would like to discuss with you guys which includes literary criticism, literary theory, uh, Indian literature, American literature, if there were questions from short stories, if there were questions from what we know today as non-fiction works. We are going to discuss all of these in my next video in which I'm going to continue with this analysis. So stay tuned to my channel and hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed so far to receive uh, updated content about UGC Net English Literature. So till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.